Hello YouTube, it is Atticus. How's everybody doing? I hope you're all well. Welcome back to Norska Week, Game 4. And yeah, leading the charge, guys, we have Wolfric. I thought that'd be a little bit uh, fitting for this battle. Because today, ladies and gentlemen, we are fighting Chaos. So yeah, we're going to have a... Uh, I think they're like brothers, if you really think about it. They're both from the north. And uh, yeah, we have Prince Sigvald leading the forces of Chaos versus Wolfric the Wanderer and Norska. So let's go ahead and jump into the builds. And this is a really cool one, so I can't wait to show it to you. So, of course, guys, uh, for my lord, we have Wolfric the Wanderer up on his chariot right here. And, yeah, I figured that he would overcompensate, bring a lot of infantry. And chariots, obviously, will have a advantage with that. And if you think about it, Chaos doesn't have the best anti-large. Like, they're expensive, so you don't really get a field a lot. You usually people bring maybe one, two units like that. And you can just dodge around them, you know, hit all those other units on the... Uh, sides of his uh, formations and things like that and it usually adds up you can see we also have a uh from your Bale Fiend of Shadows and for my spells guys we have Pit of Shades and Pendulum so we're just going for a DPS heavy build for my front line we're going to be really outclassed. We're going really cheap. We're just going Marauder Spearmen. But the good thing about these guys is they do have armor piercing. So, or a little bit of armor piercing, I should say. Um, but they do have an armor uh, anti-large. So, yeah, I just want these guys just to hold things in place. And the rest of my armies hopefully can be able to make up the damage. You can see, guys, we also do have a Pharaoh Mammoth. So, yeah, um, Mammoths are a lot of fun. Um, some games they work, other games they don't. It just really comes down to like what your opponent brings, and if he has a lot of things blocking their charges, like um, uh, what are those things called, shagos and things like that. But if it's just an infantry core, like my opponent brought, this thing could do some damage. You can see we also have the mist stalkers, and these guys will have their armor sundering, which will make my chariots and my skin wolves do a lot more damage. And speaking of skin wolves, we have three units, guys, three units. So yeah, these are gonna be really, really bad at. Really cool, part of my language. Uh, I'm going to test them out. These are not the armored one, but I want to see how these guys actually hand, uh, handle against infantry. Now, they have regeneration. They have anti-large. But, yeah, how do they actually deal with, like, you know, chaos warriors and things like that? And you can see I also brought a unit of marauder hunters, and these guys have a shield breaker um, trait. So if he brings, like, chosen with shields or anything like that, these guys should be able to uh, bypass that and do a little damage for me. And yeah, guys, I think that's pretty much my army. You guys have seen my three uh, skin wolves. Oh, I forgot to mention right here, I do have a ice wolf chariot right here. Let's go ahead and pause it because we're getting ready to get some glorious charges. So yeah, the theme of the battle is uh, chariots right here. For my opponent, as previously said, guys, we have Sigvald. Uh, he has a bodyguard of two Chosen with shields, so my opponent's going really heavy on the infantry core. So he has a bunch of Chosen. Uh, he has only one unit of Halberds, Chaos Warriors. Then we have some normal Chaos Warriors. Uh, another unit of Chosen, so three Chosen. Wow. A uh, couple cha uh, Chaos Marauders. We do have the Summoners of the uh, Rage, the Storm ones who have the uh, Lightning Storm, which they can build up to. Uh, a couple Chaos Warhounds and some Throwing Axes. So yeah, these guys could be a really good counter to my Chariots. I'll need to really try to screen them out. So let's go ahead and start the match, guys, and see how it goes. So right off the bat, as this Chariot's getting ready to say to the face of these Marauders, we're going to hit them on the side, like I said before, and boom, right into those guys. Send them flying. And yeah, we're just going to pull away. You can see his throwing axes, his warhounds, pretty much all his you know mobile forces are going to come to try to uh, block those guys up. And yeah, that's what we're doing. We're just going to try to charge him, cycle charge, and so on. You can see my skin wolves are going to be coming out of the forest here. I'm trying to stay pace with his large units. Um, if they go over on this side, we're going to do the same. And you can see Wolfric's going to get a nice charge in as well. And I'm instantly going to pull him out. And you can see my uh, Ice Wolf Chariots get another charge. And we get these guys down to half health. So that's really good value. Uh, here the infantry lines are getting ready to collide, guys. And these Chosen are just going to spank through my... Uh, my low tier infantry, so I'm gonna have to really try to you know, use my mammoth and things like that. And speaking of the mammoth, look at that charge. He comes in here and he's doing so much damage. And you can see I am using the fight or die uh, buff. And you can see these guys are just flying around, uh, getting worn out. So let's go to slow it down here for, so I can show you everything that's going on. So yeah, we had the big infantry fight. I'm totally outclassed when it comes to infantry, but we're holding them in place. And the skin wolves are gonna come here and start trying to focus down the summoners of the rage. Because if we get those guys melted quick, then he's not gonna have a very good uh, reliable way of dealing with my uh, 
Mammoth, if you can see my Marauder Hunters here in the back using their throwing axes, throwing them in. And you can see that Wolfric and the Chariots are able to break one unit of his Chaos Marauders. So, yeah, we're doing some damage. Now, he does have these uh, throwing axes who are, you know, melting me down uh, slowly and surely. But, yeah, you know, it is what it is. You can see my Skin Wolves are on top of his Chaos Sorcerer, which I forgot to mention. He did have a Shadow Sorcerer. Looks like he brought Pit of Shades and Miasma. So, yeah, we're able to catch him out. Now, we don't have the best armor piercing, but we do have the anti-large attack. So, he's going to be able to do something. And my opponent does get a pit of shades off right here, guys. It's going to do a little bit of damage, but these guys are so scattered out, it's not the biggest problem. Now, I am going to return in kind with an overcasted pendulum, so we're going to go ahead and watch the damage right here. And, uh, yeah, against Chosen and stuff, it was okay. It's not the best usage. You can see my Marauder uh, Ice Wolves are trying to screen out these throwing axes. And I'm using Wolfric right here just to try to uh, charge these Chaos Warriors of Halberds. So I'm trying to lure them away from my uh, Mammoth. Now... Opponent does get another pit of shades right here on top of uh, Sigvald, and you can see his Summoners of the Rage are finding my Feral Mammoth, so that's a little bit dangerous. I need to get my Skin Wolves in there to shut those guys down, and you can see that the uh, throwing the uh, Mist Stalkers and the Skin Wolves are going to get in there, and we're actually doing a lot of damage to these Summoners of the Rage. I'm really surprised. You can see his Halberds are going to come back, but I am going to try to intercept them with these uh, Marauder Spearmen right here. And over here, you can see my throwing or my ice wolves are just kind of chasing off those throwing axes. So it is what it is. And you know, speaking of which, guys, for such a low tier infantry core that I have against you know his chosen and things like that, they are holding things in place. It's buying me time. So I mean, for 400 gold, they're doing exactly what I needed for them. And you can see we are going to be able to break the summoners of the rage. These skin wolves are absolutely doing really good against these guys. I was surprised, but they only have 45 armor. So yeah, that means that the skin wolves are going to be able to do damage. My uh, Famir Belfine has uh, been doing. His armor sundering as well and you can see the mammoth is just coming in here and these chosen are just going to get actually just stomped um you can see the wolfric is going to get in here and get a nice little cycle charge as well we just really need to keep these halberds away from my mammoth since they're like the really guarantee that i have of keeping those guys from uh you know getting that mammoth because that mammoth is the only really answer i have to his chosen i'm going to need to keep it alive um into the late game you can see my throwing axes now we're starting to focus down his uh halberds and you can see i am going to get one of my ship uh wolfric's ship ability right here it's going to kill a few models it's going to do a little bit of damage so yeah we'll take that you can see he does have his uh, throwing axes right here, and his uh, Chaos Sorcerer is still alive, though, guys. And you can see Balance of Power is smack dab in the middle, so it's anybody's game. Looks like another Pit of Shades is going to go off. My opponent's really using his Winds of Magic pretty effectively, but yeah, I mean, it's not doing the most damage. So, like I said, we're kind of scattered out, so I'm not too worried about it. Wolfric right here is going to be ping-ponging on his chariot right here. You see we're just getting some charges in. And yeah, my skin wolves right here are just going to be chasing away these throwing axes. And we're doing pretty good about keeping those guys kind of outside the battle right here. And they do have regeneration. And you can see we are going to be able to break his halberds, guys. And that's going to be really good because I'm going to have a full chariot right here when I get done chasing this guy who's going to be able to cycle charge those chosen pretty much into the end of the world. Now we have a really good mosh pit right here. Um, looks like we're going to get the Summoners of the Rage Lightning Storm right here. But is it going to come to veer off and do some friendly fire to my opponent so i think that's benefiting me a little bit better than anybody you can see his chosen or deception chaos warriors are just getting destroyed by this mammoth i'm getting so much value out of it and over here guys you can see the skin wolves are just trying to get into this chaos sorcerer right here trying to dodge around i'm trying to get these summers of the rage killed and if i could do that get his uh, leadership right here that's going to be a good pick and you can see we are going to get him surrounded and we're doing some damage uh, speaking of which, guys, the Mammoth is still on the battle right here, stomping around. You can see sending Chaos Warriors flying. And Balance of Power, though, is still smack dab in the middle. These uh, Femir, or these uh, Mist Stalkers are really helping me, too. They have Armor Sunding, Anti-Infantry, anti and yeah, that's really going to help me out, especially with this big lob right here. You can see the Mammoth is going to start to reposition to get into those guys right here and get into the sweet spot. You can see I have some Skin Wolves coming here in the back. We're just trying to keep these throwing axes away. I'm going to get a nice charge into these Chosen uh, that he has kind of separated, and yeah, guys, that's a really good pick for me. And you can see that the Skin Wolves right here are beating the Summers of the Raid, so Skin Wolves are good, guys, and these are not even the armored ones, and they're still winning for me. You can see I do get another one of my ship spells right here, and Wolfric is trying to get a uh, charge onto the Chaos Sorcerer. He's really low, and my opponent, his infantry cores look a little bit weak. He's a little bit scattered out here, guys, so I'm thinking, all right, I have a chance. My Pharaoh Mammoth is really doing so much value for me. You can see the Skin Wolves, too. Those three units are going to be healing, which is really buying me time, and you can see Wolfric just getting charges in, guys, and we're kind of breaking his units. These Vermeer Warriors are holding up his Chosen. We're sending guys flying, and we're going to be able to catch his uh, Chaos Sorcerer 
uh, with two units of my skin wolves and that's going to give me a really big balance of uh, power lead here in a second you can see that starting to come into my favor we should be able to get him off the map and that's the lead in Sigvald and a bunch of beat up units now they are chosen granted but we have uh, mammoth coming in here look at that charge just sending guys flying we have my chariot and it is going to be able to tear around these guys but still balance of power is pretty smack dab in the middle a little bit in my favor but yeah guys it's still anybody's game right here you can see these skin wolves i wasn't paying attention they kind of got into these halberds so that was a little bit of a mistake on my uh point i need to get those guys pulled back and I still do have this Ice Chariot, which is going to come back. It's been chasing away these throwing axes the whole game, so he doesn't get into my uh, Mammoth. You can see that, uh, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Wolfric is going to get some charges. We're just trying to break the units as they break, um, as they route. And you can see Sigvold is totally surrounded right here. He's getting hit by Mist Stalkers, Spearmen, uh, Mammoths, and now the balance of power is starting to reflect that, guys. So it's starting to pull off into my favor as long as I don't throw it. You can see Wolfric is going to charge into these throwing axes, and same with the Ice Wolves right into the back with their Frostbites. It's going to be able to get these guys out of commission. It's going to give me a nice, you know, edge right here. And, uh, yeah, so starting to come into my favor. Now, my opponent does have a bunch of units right here who are coming back from routing my Skin Wolves. I'm trying to avoid these Halberds. I'm trying to uh, get into these guys. Unfortunately, my opponent does kind of uh, clip them, so it kind of gets them. But at this point, it's looking strong for me. And you can see I'm going to get my third ship right here. It's going to kill some Marauders, and uh, Wolfric's just doing a really good job of hitting these guys um, whenever they route, you know, isolating them. You can see I'm sending my Marauder Horseman right here to try to kill these uh, Chaos Warriors of Halberds. If I could kill those guys, then yeah, he's not going to have a single way of dealing with my Mammoth. You can see Wolfric's going to come in here for a nice charge, send some of these uh, 1100 Chosen flying, and you can see Sigvald is getting beat up. Now, he does have regeneration, but yeah, against all these units, he's in a lot of trouble. Uh, at this point, I'm not sure what my opponent could do. If he could maybe get some of his throwing axes to come back. You can see I'm trying to escort him off the map with these skin wolves. Now, he is coming back with this unit. But, yeah, the ice wolves right here are going to come flying into these chosen right here. And we're just, you know, all his units that he has just standing around, we're just trying to kill him. We're trying to get these guys off the map and just isolate uh, Sigvold. Now, he does have a scary unit of chosen right here at pretty much full health who are trying to uh, come reinforce his lord. And you can see that Wolfric is going to come here with ice wolf. Uh, and we're going to get a nice charge right into the heart of those guys should be able to keep them from uh, reinforcing the army but yeah that mammoth has just been a really good i mean it really has been the lifesaver for me you can see bounds of power now is going to be army losses and sigvald is going to lose and wolfric and the forces of norska are going to be uh successful so that was a really cool one guys let's go ahead and look at the end screen breakdown talk about some of the keys for my success and look at that 136 kills for the mammoth that's good value. 144 for Wolfric. I mean, those charges really helped. Um, the skin wolves, man, those skin wolves did good for me. I did not expect unarmored skin wolves to be that effective, but they were. Um, we were able to kill the Summers of the Rage. We were able to um, kill his Chaos Sorcerer. Um, and yeah, these things went really good for us. And these uh, low-tier 400-unit Marauder Spearmen were able to fight the most elite infantry in the game, pretty much. And keeping them in place, you know I mean? That's what I needed them for. The Bill of I was a little bit underwhelmed by... Um, I could have kind of went w without that, but hey guys, it worked out. So yeah, I think this is a pretty reliable, cool way of dealing with chaos. I'd be, I mean, I feel like it, it could go against Kolik as well because you have plenty of anti large. It could go against Archon. Like I, I think this is a pretty safe one to go against chaos. And as for my opponent right here, C H Y whatever, uh, yeah, cool build. I didn't expect this, but yeah, luckily I had that mammoth in those chariots. So all right, guys, that is Norska Week Game Four. I hope you enjoyed that one. We have two more for Norska Week. Um, and, uh, yeah, the final one will be against Lupa, the one I've been talking about for like two weeks now. So, all right, guys, Zadikus, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye now.